<laughs> Under detection of mutations, there are several methods that are available that we can use to detect whether a mutation is present in the given chromosome or not. It is a method where we can decide whether a mutagen can actually, you know, give us the results that we expected to. For example, we did in the CLB method for X-rays. Now, the CLB method was a method that detected sex-linked lethal mutations, which meant that if that mutation was present, that organism will die. That was also a two-step process, which was a fair enough longer than the one we are going to do today. This is the attached X method. Attached X methods helps us detect sex-linked mutations, but these are visible mutations and not lethal. Now, what do we mean by visible mutations is that these mutations can be easily seen in that organism, in the progeny that we need for it to be visible in. Attached X, as the name suggests, has something to do with the X chromosomes. Also, the sex link mutation, as we already know, is also related to the X chromosome of the organism. Now, if you remember a little bit about the XY sex determination, you'll know that the XY forms a male, while the XX denotes the female. The attached X method is based on attached X chromosomes, which means that we take two X chromosomes and attach them by their centromeres. Now, these two chromosomes will be inherited together no matter what. They will not, uh, you know, independently assort from each other as it happens for the laws of Mendel. Now, these two chromosomes, as they are attached together and they form a female, we take an organism that has XXY present. The sex of this organism will be a female, but there is a Y chromosome also present. Along with this, we take a normal XY male. And as I mentioned, in the CLB method, it was a two-step process. Firstly, we took the mutagen, uh, mutagen treated male and it was crossed with the CLB containing female. Then from the progeny, we selected the organism that we needed and it was again crossed with a normal male to finally give us the results, the ratio that decided whether that mutation was present or not. However, this method is also known as sort of an instant method because all we need is one cross to decide whether that sex-linked visible mutation is present or not. The principle that forms this attached X method is that whenever we talk about sex-linked inheritance, that uh, chromosome has to, that gene has to be present on the X chromosome. And in the hemizygous condition, that is the XY condition, that mutation will always be present. In the XX chromosome, there can be the heterozygous condition, but in XY, we can always see that mutation. That is why our focus will be the males. Also, another thing. Whenever we talk about that uh, XY inheritance, we know that the female always gives the X chromosome and it's the male that decides the sex of the progeny by either giving the X chromosome or the Y chromosome. However, in this situation, since the, both these Xs are attached to each other, in the progeny, the Y chromosome comes from the female. What I mean to say is that the, when we cross these two organisms, the male will give the X or the Y. But the female will give XX or also the Y. There will be a Y that will come from the female as well. Therefore, if a daughter is formed in the progeny, it will receive the X from the male and Y from the female, which is kind of the opposite of what happens normally. Now let's go into the cross that will finally determine if these mutations are present or not. So 
now we have taken an x link female remember it as a female not a male even though there is a y and we have taken a normal male this normal male however has been treated by a mutagen a mutagen is any chemical substance that can induce some mutation in some gene crossing these two individuals will now give us four different types of progeny you can pause this video here and try to get to your own results before you see what exactly we are going to receive firstly we have to remember that these two chromosomes these two x chromosomes are attached therefore no matter what they will be inherited together so firstly let's consider the situation that these attached chromosomes are inherited and along with this the progeny receives the y this will give us a triple x condition obviously this will be a female next condition can be that these two x are inherited from the female and the y is inherited from the male this is that attached x female that we started with next situation can be that this x is normally inherited from the male and from the female a y is inherited this is going to be a male lastly both the y is can be inherited from the female as well as the male now let's see what will happen to each of these triple x condition is the condition of a super female and these organisms do not survive therefore in our progeny we will not you know get these in any way attached x female is something that we started with these two x chromosomes and this y do not have any mutation therefore this will be a normal female this x y male is what we need to focus on now before we come to this let's see this y y obviously this y y cannot survive and these two are going to die now in our progeny these two are the type of organisms that we have received how are we going to distinguish between them this is where our visible mutation comes in what we started off with was that this is a sex link visible mutation visible means we can see it therefore if this mutagen has in some way changed this x chromosome in this male this x chromosome will have something that will make it very very visible in this uh, xxy female as we discussed earlier the x that is inherited is from this female not from the male therefore this xx is attached but it is not mutagen treated similarly this y is also not really changed this male however has an x inherited from the normal male which has been treated by this mutagen and this y has come from the x linked female therefore if this x has some visible mutation we can easily distinguish it and we can you know finally give the conclusion that the mutagen that we started off with has induced some sort of visible mutation into the male that we started with this method is sort of an instant method since it gives us the conclusion in just one cross for clv method there were two crosses and then there was the figuring out of which organisms lived and which died and at the end coming to the ratios that give us the conclusion if that mutagen actually induced a lethal mutation or not in this case this mutagen is inducing a visible mutation so it is very easy to observe and come to the conclusion if you haven't seen the clv method i suggest you go ahead and watch it because it is one of the most important in the detection of mutations and i hope you understood this attached x method and why and where exactly do we use it if you like this video don't forget to press the like button and do subscribe to get regular updates and share it with all of your friends so that at least this one topic is clear to everyone thanks for watching